Hi everybody and welcome, I'm Coach Carolyn, a Left Better Certified Instructor and a former professional tour player and today we're here to talk about the target. Yes, that is most likely the most important thing in the golf swing and it's actually not even part of the golf swing but you will learn why I am actually making it part of the golf swing and why it is so important. Obviously it's important because we want to go there but what does the target and the focus on the target mean when you're over the ball. So that's what we're here today to discuss and that's going to make sure that you have a better understanding of where your target is in relation to your body and your setup and how you can get there more consistent. So let's jump into it. All right, so I don't think I have to explain why the target matters because that's where we want to go. That's the, that's the goal. That is the target of why we're here, why we're hitting balls, why we're doing all this fancy stuff, right? Um, so, but why it's so important is because this is something I see in amateurs so many times that they are so consumed with their golf swing that they actually don't look at the target enough. People will be locked over their golf balls and watch your buddies next time when you play with them. So many of the amateurs, especially the lower, you know, the, the, the not so great golfers and the higher handicappers will be stuck over their ball and they will be looking at their ball and they will be staring at their ball and they're going to be still staring at their ball and then they're going to hit the ball. And then they wonder why it didn't go to the target. Well, Firstly, you never looked at the target, or maybe once. Maybe they, they look at it, they go, okay, I, I want to aim it there. And then, you know, kind of in that vicinity of that palm tree. And then they go like this. And they do their practice swings, and they do their feels, and they do their waggles. And they're thinking, and they're like, my body position. And they're still thinking. And then they hit the golf ball, and then they're like, huh. That was nowhere near the target. Watch the tour players. This is a homework assignment for you guys. Next time you watch it on TV, watch the tour players in their routine. Count how many times they actually look at the target throughout their whole routine. And this starts with being back behind the ball, right? They look at the target here. They're choosing their treetop. Usually tour players choose a treetop and something that is higher, that's elevated off the ground, not something on the fairway. So try to choose a treetop and then they're going to say, this is the treetop that I want to end up at. And then they also usually change, the, like choose the shot shape that they want to get there with. And I understand if you're an amateur, that's not that easy to do, but you can definitely pick that treetop. And then when they walk into the ball, you will see them still looking at that treetop. And they're still looking at that treetop. Then they're getting there and then they look down and they set up to their ball right here. And when they set up to the ball, the next thing they do, guess what they do? Yes, they look at the target again. So they're looking at the treetop again and as they're looking at that treetop, they're actually aligning themselves and they're looking down, they're checking their feet and their face and look at what they do again. They look at the target yet again. Here's number three looking at the target three times already. Then they look down, they're starting to feel good. They will do their waggle. What do they do next? Yes, you guessed it correctly, 100 points, ding, ding, ding. They look at the target again. Looking at the target, last thing a tour player looks at is their target before they hit the ball. So target, down to the ball, hit it. Again, next time you watch TV, watch any PGA or LPGA tournament, count the times that they look at the target and put that into relation of how long they actually spend on looking at their ball. And I can promise you, it is not even comparable that they spend much, much more time looking at that target than they look at their ball. And I know you're going to think, oh, okay, well, because their swing's so good and because they know what they're doing, they can focus on something else. They don't need to focus on their swing as much. That is not necessarily true because we all know how hard this game is and everybody is working on their swing all the time. And especially if you're playing for millions of dollars, do not be fooled. These tour players are always working on something. They're always trying to be at their best. They all have swing thoughts. So this applies to absolutely everyone. And if you can focus on your target better, it's going to set you up to get there because your mind is going to know this is where I want to go exactly there. It's like in life. If you don't know where you really want to go, you're probably not going to end up there. You're going to end up somewhere, not where you wanted to go because you didn't even know in the first place you were not focused on it enough. So this is not a technical session, as you may have noticed already. This is very much a mental and a focus session, but it's hugely important that especially amateurs, people that want to get better fast, learn these little details that pros do versus amateurs and that are making a huge difference in scoring and especially on the course. And again, I was a former player. I made my money by actually playing well, by scoring well, not by looking pretty on the range and making good motions, right? That's part of it, but that's not what I got paid for. I want to make sure that I give you guys the tips and the differentiators 
that are going to make you score better, that are really truly going to make you a better player. And focusing on your target is one of them and doing it over and over and over and making that part of your pre-shot routine is key. So homework assignment, how many times do you see your favorite player look at the target in their pre-shot routine and look at the ratio of time they spend on looking at the target and looking at the ball. Leave that in the comments below. I really want to know what you guys find out. And I would be shocked if these players don't look at the target at least four to five times throughout their entire pre-shot routine from when they walk into the ball. So subscribe to this channel if you like this tip and also give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how many times your favorite player looks at the target throughout their entire pre-shot routine. And I can't wait to see it. See you guys next time.